Well, good morning, y'all. This is my video vlog for what do you do? Is do you call it a video vlog or do you call it a vlog because it's just a talking video? I don't know. But anyway, it is June the twentieth, and I'm hot and I'm tired because Terry and I have been out in the garden picking green beans. I'm gonna show you my green beans and then I'm gonna talk about this stuff. Let me show you. Look here what I've got. I've got a five gallon bucket of green beans. I've got a towel here, so I'm gonna spread them out on the towel and sit here and work on my green beans and get them ready to can. I, I don't know if I'll get to it today because I still gotta get my jars ready and fix, get all my beans fixed. They're nice. The first picking's always the nice ones and the better ones. So, and there's some more in the refrigerator that we picked yesterday. So, that's what I've got to do. I'm not really going to mind it too bad. I think I'll sit right here where I'm working. I think I'll get everything ready. And I may even do one of those live streams while I'm working on it if you guys want to come in, come in and visit with me. Now, now what's over here? This is my mail. I need a fan. Well, I don't want this. This is... <laughs> I'm to the age I get all this this mail about Medicare and I ain't even on Medicare yet maybe getting close but I'm not there yet oh and I'm not gonna be sewing for a day or two but but I love it when I get a catalog from connecting threads it's always got such pretty stuff but I'll have to I'll have to look at that later. The one that's caught my eyes, this one called rhubarb pie. I think the colors in it's real pretty. I wonder what they made out of rhubarb pie. There's some with the fall pumpkin stuff. Anyway, it's garden season, gardening season in here, so my sewing and quilting has kind of got put over on the back burner. You know what the back burner is. Let's see. Let's see. Look, look right this. Right fast. I've got so many things started and we're working on that quilt swap. But I've got till September the 1st to do that one. And you can probably still get in on that because the deadline to sign up on the quilt swap was uh, July the 1st. So you still got time. And Peggy Lynn Designs is coordinating that. But <laughs> I need to make one of them quilts with the cannon jars. And... <laughs> With all this stuff I've been and my my beads my beats are canned yesterday back there Well, you can't see them, but they're back there and he put them up anyway Anywho moving on because I've got to get through talking so I can work so I can talk on the live stream But uh, from Ingrid I got a card little thank you card from Ingrid today Thanking me for sending the uh, the uh, chicken pattern that some of us are working on She sent me stamps so <laughs> that I just, I just love you guys. You guys are all just, just make me feel so loved. I just love all of you. And some pretty flower stickers. And that's my card and, and thank you note from Ingrid. So I'm going to put that aside. Got, got another thing I want to talk about. Let's see. Oh, that's junk mail from my pillow. But this one... This package here, this little, and I've already opened it, was from my friend Kathy in Arkansas. And she sent, uh, she sent an Arkansas Trails quilt book. And it tells, inside it, it there's quilts painted on boards. And it te tells you a kind of a map and a location of where they're at in Arkansas. And I haven't even had time to look at it yet. I've got, cause I've got to, I've got to look at this. I'd love to make one myself, but when would I have time to make one to hang on a fence and put it on the quilt trails? Beautiful, beautiful. You guys, I know my quilt friends would love to see this. I know you would, and I may have to show you some out of. Let's see what's in Johnson County. Let's see if I, in my county. Let me look. I'm not seeing anything in my county. Not right off hand. Anyway, I don't have I don't have a whole lot of time to talk this morning. But there's that. And she sent me this little thing. 
is the sweetest little thing. And she says, okay, that not that one. This, this, you put your Bible verses in it, and it's a little, uh, it's a pocket prayer quilt. This pocket prayer quilt was made especially for you to slip in your pocket. Throughout the day when your fingers touch the cross inside the quilt, be mindful of God's love and grace for you. Keep it in a, keep it has a tangible symbol of God's peace. And inside it, inside it is a, is a little cross. Can't, stitch, stitched in there. I can't show you. Cause it is, it is there. There's a little, there's a little cross. Don't want to mess it up. But there's a little cross sewed inside. That, that's what it looks like. Pocket prayer quilt. I'm a little prayer quilt to hold in your hand to help when trouble arises. Those things you don't plan. When your fingers touch the cross tucked inside, remember that God is always by your side. Hold me tight in your fist if it helps calm your fears. And don't be afraid to use me to wipe away your tears. Alright, that's it. I've got to get busy. I don't have a pocket on this old cool dress that I'm wearing. I put this on this morning because it was loose and, and cool and, and it it was hot out in that garden and I got hot out there but I've got to get off here and I've got to get busy got to get my jars washed got to get my beans broke and it's already 10 30 but I've been up and been going I love y'all see you see you later bye